Smithville, Mississippi. Meanwhile, people who live along the Mississippi River preparing for what may come. The Mississippi River is rising, and by all accounts, it's only going to get worse. But how much worse? That's the big question mark tonight. Fox 13's Lauren Lee joins us live from downtown with the very latest. Lauren? Well, Daryl, the river is continuing to rise so much so that its tributaries are now flowing backwards. Here at Tom Lee Park, the preps for Music Fest are continuing, even knowing that the worst is yet to come. It's a sight not often seen. The Wolf River and Nankana Creek are flowing backwards. The swelling river cannot take on much more water. Right now, the Mississippi River is in the process of going through what we call an epic flood. I mean, it's more than historic. It's more than a 100-year flood. It's more like a 500-year flood. Gene Wrench with the National Weather Service says all eyes are on the Mississippi. The tributaries flowing backwards are a big problem for the communities adjacent. We could uh, flood many homes, businesses, uh, close down uh, factories, could... Uh, People could drown. The river is more than two feet past flood stage. It rose two feet in the 24 hours following the storms. It's expected to crest at 45 feet around May 10. That's right when barbecue fest teams are setting up their tents. But Memphis and May's Diane Hampton says they can deal with the forecasted 45-foot river. And at that point, Tom Lee Park is not underwater. Um, it is, you know, it's very close to the level of Tom Lee Park, but that's not... Uh, flooding of Tom Lake Park. But Hampton says they are preparing for the worst and looking at alternative locations for the championship cooking contest, but is confident it will stay downtown. As for Music Fest, the only change is the city is pulling up the direct electricity and everything will run on generators. The river is not going to stop anything this weekend other than uh, a flood of fans that will be down here. Of course, she says the river has a mind of its own, but the Army Corps of Engineers is trying to outsmart it by shutting down the Tennessee River and closing all tributaries and dams that feed into the Mississippi. And we're just hoping and praying that uh, the plans and the actions that the Corps has taken their strategy is going to work. Another effect of the rising river levels are the casinos in Tunica will be shut down. That's displacing 10,000 workers losing millions of dollars in revenue. The closure orders were issued for safety of visitors and workers. The casinos will be closed on a staggered basis depending on the level of the river. To find out that schedule, you can log on to myfoxmemphis.com. Reporting live downtown, Lauren Lee, Fox 13.